Good morning to everyone. I am in Chiang Kong, a village right next to the border of Laos. Here I have the Mekong River, beautiful as always. Today I'm taking a bus to Chiang Mai and we're gonna check out in this video the northern capital of Thailand. Check out the promenade they have here. Super nice. It's very, very well taken care of. Amazing. <sighs> okay, let's go to the bus. That's my bus. Yes. Check this out. They give you a small van and a water ticket. And by the way, it's like a seven hour ride for just 10 euros. Amazing. This is my room in Chiang Mai. Um, it was about 12 euros per night, I think, and I have breakfast included, and it's super nice. It's very, very big with AC and a nice toilet right there. So yeah, happy, happy, happy. My friend here just used my trousers as a way of testing its paws, and now I have holes in my trousers. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm feeling quite sick. My head hurts. I have fever and I also have like a small runny nose. So I bought some ibuprofen or how it's called. For, for all of that and hope I get better. Now, I'm gonna try to get some dinner. I am back at my hotel. I am feeling a little bit better now. Uh, what you saw there was my amazing dinner. I went to this place called Humus Chiang Mai and I had, of course, amazing hummus, as the name indicates, and also a very nice uh, falafel sandwich. I was completely full, but it was worth. They greet you with a free drink uh, when you enter, and when you're leaving, they offer you a free uh, dessert too. And the place is just very, very nice. It's not the cheapest though. Uh, everything cost me like around eight to nine euros, but it's still worth checking out. Tomorrow, I hope I feel better and I will show you more of this amazing city. There's a lot to it. See you tomorrow. Good morning from Chiang Mai. I went for a run in the morning. I didn't record that though. Uh, I had the best breakfast ever. This homestay where I'm staying, it's just unbelievable. It's super nice and it's very cheap too and the people the owners are splendid i am now going to do my laundry i have my back here yeah it's been already seven days since i've left home so yeah i need to do this housekeeping and stuff and then i will meet my friends and we will check out Chiang Mai. By the way, I'm going through another route to the city center because the main road that leads to the city center from my uh, hotel, there's a dog there who's freaking nuts. Yesterday night, he was barking at me crazy and he was trying to bite me. He was literally trying to, to kill me. Uh, he tried to grab my leg several times and I was able to, to dodge him. This morning, when I went for a run, when I was coming back, I found the dog again in that same street and he was trying to do the same thing. Yeah, I have to take a detour just to avoid the dog. Quite sad, but yeah.
Everyone say hi to Flavi and Mireya. They are our local tour guides today and they will be showing us around. Okay, so wh where are we right now? We are at the gate. It's a gate. It's so unique and different. Please take a look. I love how people are taking photos in front of like these breaks. Google Maps tells you this is a very important place to check out, but it's literally just a wall of bricks. That's all. This is in fact the entry to the old to the older part of the city. If you see it on, on Google Maps, it's like a square, and this is like the entrance of the square. Outside here, the city becomes more like spread out, but inside these build these walls, it's like a small uh, square, I think. So yeah, apparently this is an important landmark. We are not so sure. But so we should Google like when was it constructed? At the end, when King Mangrai founded Chiang Mai. No, okay, guys, never mind. It was rebuilt. It's not the original. This is a very important street, apparently, but I don't see much going on. There they go. Gijón. Gijón. No way. I Flavie's uh, cover is, is literally matching. She's <laughs> it's perfect. She's literally and then me, the most stylish girl in a Buddhist temple ever. The day is also nice. That, have you seen that this temple is different from the other ones? Yeah, the temple in Bangkok are very white and gold, and here it's in blue, so it's very different. Okay. Yep. It's like literally women are dirty. Like it's literally what it's saying. And and that we enter will cause social instability. <laughs> That's funny. Mireya discovering sexism in Thailand. But I've never seen like so explicit because okay, women cannot enter if they menstruate. I'm against that. But here is like straight off, women cannot enter. Like just the fact that because they make we're you dirty pay, if we menstruate. They make you pay fifty because and you cannot enter. No, I'm a man. <laughs> See? See? That's what it makes me. How menstruation is dirty? Like, honestly. How? Like, we are just reproducing this taboo. The thing is it's that like, men wouldn't be there if there was no menstruation. It's like menstruation is not dirty. It's like something natural. And thanks to that, we can reproduce and we have more babies. Like, what the You're fuck? literally making men that will put these laws again. Like, <laughs> This temple in form of mountain is called what? What is it called again? Sediluang. Uh, but we don't know anything about it because we don't yeah. see any information. Yeah. Right. We are Thank trying you. to give you good information, but <laughs> it's all in Thai. Like that's that's all. Yeah, I'm
You were a novice monk at age 15. Mm. So you're 17 now? So, no, 24. Uh, 24. Okay. 24. Okay. <laughs> now, basically, when I was young, and we have uh, not a lot of runes, and to not a lot of rules. Not runes. Runes. Rules. 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 Mm -hmm. rules. Yeah. Yeah, they have just ten rules. Ru yeah, they have ten rules. And be man, we have uh, how many? How many? How many? Sajet. Uh, be man, we have rules. Uh, two hundred seventy-seven rules. Two hundred seventy-seven rules. Twenty-two. Two hundred seventy-seven. Two hundred seventy-seven. One, no killing anymore. Mm. Okay. Two, not even plants. Not even kill. plants. You cannot kill plants. Yeah. Okay. Do not kill anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two. Uh, no stealing. You know? mm -hmm. It's a good business. <laughs> yeah, no, you know. It's not business. It's just uh, so yeah. Yes. We just talked to some monks, and they explained us like a bit about like their schedule, a bit of how they why they decided to become monks. Um, yeah, the reasons behind it. Uh yeah. Their personal experiences. It was very interesting. We've just been to a very upsetting restaurant. It was called the Gravity Bistro Bar or something. And the prices were already very high, so we were expecting decent food at, at least. We got exactly the opposite. What you saw back there uh, was the smoothie bowl I paid for almost five euros. It was literally super small. It took me like 30 Wait, seconds to it finish is. it. It was very infuriating. Like. You don't even pay this in the most expensive cities in Europe, so this was very, very, very upsetting. And they took a long time to bring all the food, so yeah, very upsetting. It's fine. Mireya is offending a lot of Buddhist people right now. No, it's true. It's Look, actually, it's, I think I can wear it as a dress. No, you're gonna tie it any other way. Okay, wear it as a dress. Yes. Have... May I have the touch, please? Thank you, son. It's super clean. We've probably come to the highlight of our trip here in Chiang Mai. It is a temple which I won't try to pronounce the name. And it's in the middle of the mountains. It's like 1,000 meters uh, high. And there seems to be like a ceremony going on right now. Now it's night, so we cannot see well the city because there's some good views of the city. But it's all right. The temple is quite enjoyable. Sorry for not saying goodbye yesterday, uh, it was very late, uh, we went for dinner and I had to say goodbye to my friends, which I won't see in a very long time, so yeah, it was quite emotional. Um, it is nice to travel, but it's not so nice when you have to say goodbye to people that you really care about, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed Chiang Mai. Um, it has been a very short video, but um, it's really, really nice, it's a really nice city, people are extremely extremely nice out of all the places i've been i think it's Chiang Mai the place where the people have been nicer and i can say this out loud without any any problems also the the place where i stayed it was just unbelievable you saw the breakfast yesterday the owners are just the kindest people ever and the rooms are very nice for a very 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 small price so uh, in case you're interested, the place it's called Bai Tong Homestay. 
or guest house or something like that i will probably write it down somewhere in the screen now i'm gonna go for my laundry and i will say goodbye to you in a few minutes <laughs> I guess um, that's it. I'm at the airport, waiting for my flight to Vietnam, to Hanoi. As I said before, Chiang Mai and Thailand in general has been very great. However, it is not that um, cheap as I would expect. It's, I think, out of all Southeast Asia, excluding Singapore, it's probably the most expensive country, even more expensive than Malaysia. So bear that in mind if you're coming. So yeah, see you in a week in Hanoi. Bye bye. This is every time going harder. Another one.